welcome to my channel today i will be making some i'm going to be showing you guys how i wash my rice and boil it along with some kalaloo and shrimps so stay tuned so start i'm starting by washing this rice this is two pints of rice or two cups of rice now this this rice could serve like seven or eight persons and it depends on how much food they eat here. Now you don't have to cook this amount. This is just for me. You could use less, right? I wash this rice about three times, three to four times. This is what I have consent to doing. Oops. What some people do is Put the rice, the water on the fire, let it boil, and then the wash the rice separate and add it. I don't do it like that. I wash the rice in the pot, and when it finish washing the rice, I fold the pot up to the top because I'm loose. I'm cooking strain rice. I'm straining this rice. I'm not cooking the rice with um dry it down. I'm straining it. I try to strain out some of the starch from the rice. This is the last one. Then I'm going to pull this fat rice up to the top. And this is a, a quart pot I have. So this part now was full up to the top as you can see and I put the fire I turn the fire on I'm gonna cover this part and I'm giving you a time this the, right now this rice start cooking at 609 right so I'm give you how long this take to cook right stay tuned in the meanwhile i'm going to start by cooking the spinach so i'm going to show you this the other part so this is some mustard kalaloo i don't know if anybody of maybe heard of mustard kalaloo but it sells um in the pack in the grocery store just look for the pack says the mustard they very i like it and everybody like it. It's more. It's like a. It'll be a cousin to pop chai. I buy seven pack, seven of them, not pack, bundles. I'm sorry, and I cut it up. Fry. I, this is fresh. I'm gonna add some oil in this pan. What I'm doing, I'm frying up this mustard by itself. Then I'm gonna add the shrimps because. This normally springs a lot of water and I don't want to add the shrimps into this right now and then it um take much longer. So think so everything is gonna add eventually. So just add some oil. This is my method of cooking it. I want most of the liquid observed. I'm gonna fry the um thing. and everything else separately.
I'm going to just pour all of this spinach into the this canary and then I'm going to let it and let it dry. I'm not going to add any salt because salt normally tend to spring let the vegetable springs water. When this cook down to the real low then I'm going to add some then I'm going to add this shrimp and let it continue cooking but I'm going to fry the shrimp up separately and then add it so so stay tuned and me while the rice still on the fire as you can see it's steaming down right and as I mentioned before it normally springs water see if you could see the water draining yeah it springs a lot of water so in order for me to go like this spring more water and just let it fry it just like this and when I most of the water observed then I'm going to add the shrimps as I mentioned already before but I don't want to put any shrimps now in the next two minutes or so I'm going to do this with the shrimps the most important thing is that the most of the water I wanted to absorb and this is the shrimps this is fresh shrimps that I clean wash and seasoning and leave it to marinate this is some onion and there is some carrots celery sticks scallion onion everything that needs to be in this part is in this bowl that i cut up and i put it one side all right so i'm gonna left this let it continue doing the thing in the meanwhile the rice hasn't in the meanwhile the rice you have to make sure that this rice you store the rice so that it wouldn't cook clammy and I don't add any salt some people do I don't all of your choice I just gonna let this rice boil when I when this rice come to complete finish I'm gonna tell you how long it takes all right now the rice is boiling the water boiling right so and the rice so what I normally do is take some rice in the pot spoon and you feel it feel it to see if you got any grain sometimes it might be one grain or none at all sometimes some of the rice cook not even this one you got grain right so you're going to cook it for like a minute more and before you strain it, you add some cold water into it. In the way, the rice is going to come back. Make sure so you, you just let your cold water run and you stir it up. Right? But as I said before, it's still, this rice still got like a grain. I don't know if you can see. But it's got a grain. See a white knit in this rice here. Eh? But I'm gonna pour some cold water into this rice. Yes, the water getting thick. You can kind of start start to take over. 
I'm going to strain this rice now. Yeah. It has one grain in it. But by the time I strain this rice, I strain this rice and then I'm going to put it back on the fire to steam. The grain is going to eventually cook. Now it's um now it's six turn turn three. The reason why it takes so long because you remember I washed the rice and put it in put on the fire without the water did not boil. So you have to wait until the water gets hot, boil and then the rice boil save them in the water. So that would make make it take this much time. Normally if you boil the rice, the water by itself, and then add the rice, it will take a little less time. Alright? I find that it's much more easy for me doing it this way. Alright? Stay tuned, I'm going to strain it. Now you see that I have the water running in the rice and it is cold water. See? So I'm going to let this to drain out and in the meanwhile you I turn the fire very low this is my method all right of straining the rice cooking it and straining it and add cold water on it in order for it to still loose it and not coming. Alright? Still go. Water the bottom. This is, this is it. So I'm gonna pour it back into the pot. So now this is finished, I'm going to take some um, frying pan and I'm going to start frying up this salt, this the shrimp cheese. So I'm going to leave this, cover this down 
on low fire. Yeah. Stay true. I'm gonna place this um shrimps into this can we just like this. I mean the frying pan just like this without no oil so that in this way it could absorb some of the liquid that is in the shrimps already right and when the liquid absorbed then I'm gonna add the oil and then add the tomato and everything else that needs to be added into this This is my method in here, right? So now we got a little bit of liquid still in this pot. I'm gonna pour the oil and then I'm gonna cut up the tomato inside. the rest of the let's fry up and I will be back so I'm gonna this is a cube one cube I turn the stove down low. Um, some black pepper, optional. Salt. Not gonna put too much of salt because I just put the cube inside. So I'm gonna put like a teaspoon of the salt. Remember, I didn't add no salt into the spinach. That is this coloring, the mustard coloring. Okay. You see the amount? I'm gonna add this into the um over to the coloring now. I let it cook up a little and then I'm gonna add some more salt if it needs any more. Alright? Stay tuned. This is a lot of moving from one angle to another. Now I'm gonna add the shrimps. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh -uh. Could you imagine this this gloves in holding heat gee I'm 
I'm gonna by seven o'clock this food should finish. Remember the reason for me to cook this spinach by itself first is to absorb the liquid so that when I add the shrimps into it, it's not gonna be you know boiling forever. So I'm gonna let this do its thing for a little a minute or so and then I'm gonna come back to it just in case if it, it has to have any more liquid. You see, as I said before, once I start getting to this kaloo, uh, the mustard kaloo, it is spring more water. But it's not as much as if I do it before. Um, if I fry the shrimps and add everything and then have it boiling forever, you know? So, just mm -hmm. want a little bit more salt. So this is it. So this is it. This is the rice, white rice, and kalu, mustard kalu with shrimps. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give this video a thumbs up. I just bring it closer that you can see. This is rice, Lucy white rice, and tasty mustard kalu with shrimp. All right. Don't forget subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next one.